Hey everybody, good morning, and welcome to the I Am Legend mod for 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. So, to tell you a little bit more about the mod, it's basically similar to what the movie is, and a little bit more about it is zombies, which are dark seekers, do not spawn in the wild during the day. You are free to move about the world, but be warned. Buildings are dangerous. They are filled with fast-moving enemies, and you need to be careful when looking for supplies. There are no traders, and any trader compounds that are found have been abandoned. When night falls, you want to be inside and well hidden. Dark seekers will be out in force, and they're hungry. So here are my settings for starting in the game. So, with the fact that there are no traders, I've decided to up the XP multiplier. I have a feeling like maybe it's going to be difficult to progress along. I'm going to go with 90 minute days and yes, off default adventurer setting, difficulty setting, because um, I always like to start my games that way. Uh, Blood Moon fre frequency is 7 days. Uh, we'll start with 8 enemies and, and then every 7 days we will up the number of enemies and update uh, the danger and as for speed well my understanding is zombies are basically running sprinting like all the time and then we have airdrops player block damage loot abundance you know what bam going for 200 percent again we don't have traders we don't get quests let's just up that it's going to help us out a lot it's going to be, I think it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> I think it's going to be very difficult in the very beginning. We'll move on. Multiplayer, not much here. Just made the claim size big. Uh, let's see. Maximum or zombie, 64. I'll leave it at the default. City zombie count modifier. I'm not going to change that. Headshots only. No. Zombie rage. Well, it's set on, so let's just leave that on. And then sleeper infested mode. Well, it's infested. We can go up to super infested or ultra infested. I'm going to stay with infested just for right now. And then finally, tools, weapon, mods, and loot. Well, yes, have that on. Feral sense range during the day is 300. And feral sense at night, so you can't change that. That's 105. All right, and this is a custom map I, a map I had built for myself. So let's get going. And here we are now in the game. So, just so you guys know, when, when it starts, when this mod starts, you're out in the middle of forest, wasteland, desert, whatever. I've decided instead to do something a little different from what I usually do. And I've decided to gift myself a house. A house that's kind of similar to the one that Nelville lives in during I Am Legend. So what I've done is... This is a tier 2 POI. I've already cleared out the zombies. And I, uh, because I get a free house, I emptied all the loot, threw it all on the ground. I don't get that loot because I get this nice house here. Kind of in the middle of the very big city. And wow, it's going to be interesting to see what happens tonight. So, we've got a few items in here. We've got a gun here. We've got... Okay, we got a stone axe. Let's put this first aid bandage here. There's a weapon flashlight. Oop, click on, uh, oh my god. Click on that, put that in there. Okay, load, okay, we got, uh, load the gun. All right, flashlight, working fine. See, empty mailbox. Just to be sure everyone knows. And if by any chance I should find something in here that I forgot to empty out, well, we're going to have to throw it on the ground. Okay. <laughs> I guess the first thing we're going to have to do is, uh, well, I'm going to have to figure out how the heck to get out of here. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to have to fix that floor. Nice kitchen. Uh, let's see. This will open the back door, but we're not going to use that. Not at least until we have something to use on that. And, all right.
I mean, not bad. That's unlocked. You're definitely going to need to repair that. I'm going to need to get some more wood. So while we are working on this and getting out of here, um, I'm going to need to get some wood. Mm. So something else I discovered. I did a real quick playthrough just to kind of see what this is like. Ooh. And I found that some POIs, well, they have zombies out in the yard. And if you are not careful, um, you can start a chain pull of zombies within the property. And it's very, very bad because, um, yeah, these, these zombies are crazy. They're very crazy dangerous. And they're super fast. I keep my ears open, make sure... Uh, I don't hear the sound of a zombie. If I do, I probably want to find high ground somewhere. Also, um, this mod looks like it's a learn by doing mod. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So open up this tree. They have a learn by use here. I would just call it learn by doing. When you do something, you start to gain some points here and improving your stats. You don't pay for these. These are just things that when you do them, you get them. And something else I noticed, so one of the reasons why I'm giving myself so much XP and everything is because these cost more than just like one point. They cost two points to get, even though it looks like they reduced a few items here, remove them, get you focused on a few things. It still takes two points to get, um, get anywhere. So I thought, yeah, we're just going to give ourselves some more XP. And one of the other things that the developers said is they said um, that when you find uh, magazines, books, as you find those and you read them, you will start to get those more and more in, uh, in your loot. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe early game that what we're going to do is... I'm going to look for books for the things that I think are very important to me early game. I'm going to start throwing or start learning those right away and take the other ones that are a little less important to me and just hold on to them. I'm not going to be in a big hurry to learn any of those things. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any rocks. Okay, I'll get some rocks. But let's see, what have we got? We've got four points. I think from the shadows. I the shadows 30% sneak. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put some points into that. Put some points into quiet just for, for like tonight. And uh, let's see, what else do we want to grab? Um, I'm going to grab lock picking because I know that that will also help me to get the... Uh, engineering books I need for making everything for making the crafting stations and whatnot it's better than advanced engineering you know that's just the way that the game was set up so I'm just playing it the way it was intended to be played okay good now something else I noticed while I was out is that there aren't there aren't I didn't see any bears anywhere or zombie dogs. I did see like regular animals like deer and chicken and rabbits. And um, I'm trying to remember what the other one was. But um, yeah, I don't think like it's mostly a zombie threat kind of game. Okay. I don't even know if I even tried to go grab that over there because it's part of the POI. Let's just walk down the street. Look for mailboxes and anything on the road. Also, if you see a car crash in the middle of the road, be prepared because um, there's going to be zombies there too. Like I think there's sometimes there's like uh, ambulance in the middle of the road. Yeah, those definitely can have zombies. Oh, not definitely have. They're absolutely positively guaranteed going to have zombies.
I just got a stun. Oh, it's a stun baton. Holy cow. All right, let's go with that one there. Okay, uh, robotics, hold on. Electrical, hold on. I am not going to go with the sledgehammer. We could definitely hold off on that. Oh, oh this is good, man. Have to make sure we get some points put into a uh, uh, physician because once you max that out, unless they change things, once you max out physician, uh, you have like a 10% chance to one shot something with a stun baton. It's like, yeah, that's that's a pretty good deal. That's super good. Uh, craft diamond tip blade mods. Okay. Craft fire helmets. 5% less damage while wearing them. I'm going to hold off on that one. Food crafting. Yeah, I know. We should probably we should probably learn those, Steve. Those are pretty important. We can hold off the others. Those are more like cord knight kind of things. Uh, bow. How can I make a bow? Track. Okay, plant fibers. I think I can get a few over here. I get my hands on um, a bone knife because it's I, it's going to be crazy difficult to go anywhere where I would usually go to go and you know steal food is just it's too big of a risk all right uh arrows uh track how many can i craft yeah seven is lousy okay we need to get ourselves a little bit more stone okay that's definitely a book we want times two nice yep oh no steve don't don't can we, can we go around this and behind us? Where is home? Home is back this way. Let's go that way. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do a little bit more exploring of the town. We gotta make the most of, of daylight because once it hits night, we are going to be not only in the base, but we are going to be as quiet as quiet can be. Because there, I I know what the night looks like in this game, and it's it's terrible. Okay, let's start getting some arrows. Well, we might be able to nail some of these chickens before, you know, they like go anywhere, or before they get to a POI where we can't go and retrieve the bodies or chase after them for food. And we're definitely going to need to go get our own, go catch our own food, because uh, yeah, we know. We don't want to go to POIs to try to find the food. We just can't. We can't get quests to do it. We can't buy anything from the trader. We got to Yeah, we're hunting and fishing all on our own. Yep. Real survival. All right. We got to blood ourselves here. Let's get this first shot off. Come on. Okay, not bad. Yeah, it's fast. All right, so far, so far, so good. Okay, that's that was just two of them. Anyone else hiding over here? Okay, nobody else is hiding over here. Oh, I think um, what it was is I found a pot when I was clearing out the base that I was gonna give myself. Uh, there was a pot in there. And, oh, that would have been so nice. You know, that'd be a great place, way to start the game is to have a pot to put in our campfire. But, no, I don't get it. I think I think I can get this car. Okay. Oh, nice. Tools digest. Get that and a bunch of money. That's not going to be good for much of anything. Uh, can I? Okay, I could scrap it. I could use it, like, for firewood. Or I can just scrap it. We can't turn it into money. Yeah, I don't care about blades. What is this? 
Uh, robotic turret sh shotgun? Oh no, robotic turret shells. For robotic turret shotgun. Okay, that's fine. Yep, I have to do this. I absolutely have to do this. If I try to use a bow and arrow, I know that made noise, but if I use a bow and arrow, forget it. I'm. I know the the only way to to deal with a problem when you're having a problem with like uh, using an item in a game, and it's like I'm really bad at this thing. I'm bad at aiming with it. The best way to fix that problem is not by not doing it, not by not using it, but instead by using it a lot and practicing. Yeah, it's like using the bola in the freaking arc series. Man, I have so much trouble. Using the bow, I just, I don't know. The best way to do is practice. You know, practice on small, less danger, dangerous creatures. You know, that you can still bola and retrieve the bola. And let's go over here. I don't know if there's anything going to be over here, but I don't think so. Because it's not a POI after all. Yeah, if I remember, there's zombies outside here. I will be careful. Oh, did I just fill up my... Okay, we can get rid of the aloe. No, wait. You probably need that, don't you? To make bandages. Everything's going to be harder. Probably going to spend a lot of time trying to loot everything that is easy to loot. And hopefully we can get some more ammunition. Club crafting? Yeah, I'll take club crafting. Definitely. Alright. Uh, 1500. Well, oh, 1530 almost. Oh, there's a farm over here. We're definitely going to have to uh, use the farms that we have nearby and try to get corn out of there. Ooh. Nice, nice. We need that chicken. We're going to need everything we get. I mean, there's probably some area, some fields, like there's this field right in front of us here. That maybe, just maybe, um, you know, doesn't have like zombies in it or anything. Maybe boars, but you know what? You don't, you can't run, Steve. So let's not do that. What should I put more points into? Yeah, I'm doing parkour. Oh, I said, hello, park. Oh, I have one. Oh, I thought I had two points. Boo. If I'm right, I think that there's a, a snake over here. Isn't there usually a snake over here? Yeah, there he is. Come on. C come, on. come on, you're being very slow. Very, very slow. All right. Oh, nice. In the bag. Oh, oh, glasses. What glasses were those? Uh, tough guy. Fortitude? Okay, fine. Oh, we got some padded leg armor? Okay, fine. I'll take those. Those are free. We are... Yeah, Steve, don't go in there. Go back to the base. Let's throw down a box so we can put all our stuff inside. And maybe, maybe we can head out and do a little bit more looting before it gets too late. Uh, is this the prison here? I think that's, yeah, I think that's the prison. What's, what's the fastest way? Um, through here? Okay. Let's do this. Take a little bit of risk. Don't step into a POI. head right there and we'll be able to run between two POIs Ooh. that's the apartments there shouldn't be any shouldn't be any zombies out in the parking lot oh my lord yeah that is that is the jail isn't it that's right well that's it's a jail I'm pretty sure it's a jail it's I was um so I think in during who Steve, 
you are getting close. Okay, I just heard a little noise. I think we're fine. So I was going to say, in uh, during my stream near the end, I talked about what series I was interested in doing. And my idea at the time was, I think I was going to do a Trapped Inside Jail series, where the whole idea was to build a gyrocopter and an escape. And I did a little testing on that to see how viable it was. And I think it's definitely a challenge and I don't think I can do it without having to use without using mods to help things out. Oh wait, are we home? Did we just get oh, oh we're home, we're home. We did it. We did it. We have to fix our fence. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, is that door are you locked? All right, okay, that's locked. Fine. Whatever. Alright, let's get no the lights on. I was saying the series was going to be locked inside a prison and I was going to have to escape. And I did a little work on seeing how viable that was and I decided it was not very viable, at least not right now. So I looked at mods and I saw I Am Legend. I think, you know, let's give this one a shot. Okay, a little thirsty, a little bit of hungry, mostly thirsty, I think. I can repair those. Uh, what can I, can I put something? Okay, I can get something in front of them. We're going to need something like these shades over here, I think. We might even need to uh, completely replace the windows there with something boarded up like that. Um, but uh, I like the windows. Oh, Steve, you're going to have to do that, I think. Like it or not. Not bad. Okay. There might be some spots that I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'll end up pulling them out, do something else, but I think this is pretty decent. And let's go for a flat piece just to put it here in case this matters. <laughs> there. I think just having that there might be enough to block light from this this um, torch. Although just because there's light there doesn't mean the zombies are necessarily going to come here. I mean it just it's oops I didn't want to put that piece in there. I wanted to change that back to a solid piece. And oh yeah definitely come horde night we are not going to um, be out here we are going to build a horde base somewhere else I just haven't quite figured out yet where exactly it is what is what do I want to put here can I get that there okay nice oh I'm out of wood okay that's fine um let's go upstairs I don't just for some reason I don't feel like being down here I wonder I wonder if I should destroy all that so there's no easy way up here for them now maybe oh that's a big open window uh holes in the ground or in the floor this is all right that what's over here bathroom oh boy talk about fixer upper yeah gonna change my mind Let's see if we can do a campfire here. we got to get a little bit of cooking done before it gets too late for us in order to put stuff out. Um, what do we got? We can do okay, we can do charred meat. How much is that? Okay, five minutes worth. I don't think I'm going to need five minutes to make four. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, I guess we'll just do that. Um, let's run outside and get ourselves some meat. We still have time to get something done here before it gets too dark. Where is it? I don't want to cut the tree in my front yard. It's a very, very pretty tree. I think I think these trees over here 
aren't a part of any property. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, let's be very quiet, Steve. Oh, there's a table over here. You know it, Steve. Uh, how about Horde Base? Yeah. How about we build our Horde Base here? I mean, everything else is... I mean, there's some spots over here, but... Well, if the Horde Base is too close to our base, the zombies could spawn within our base. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to take the risk of being too close to my base? Maybe. Teals are good. We can bake those. Those are definitely good. And the zombies over here. Alright. That's pretty good. That's actually a decent amount of wood. Oh, you're going to make some more arrows? Ah, we can make some more arrows. I just need wood for repairs and for firewood. Actually, Steven, oh shoot, that's right. You have paper. Well, I had dollars. I turned into paper. And that paper I can turn into, like, shotgun shells. So, you know what? That might be actually a better... Okay, that's going to take forever. That's probably a better use for dollar bills is making them into something I can make ammunition with. Uh, lights, thank you. Okay, I just need something there. Twenty hundred. Um, Steve, make some uh, storage, and I think the storage is probably going to go upstairs. But for right now, I just need something down here to get everything out of my bag. So we don't have to worry about I'm not worried about zombies destroying the storage. I'm not gonna put it upstairs. Cause why the heck why the heck not? And I'll get that bed over there. Okay, make sure I have everything in here. Um okay, we got seeds. We're definitely gonna have to have a garden. I think probably out back. Uh, I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Uh, let's get this going. I think it should be in here. It seems like the right place to put those. And how's the steaks going? Are you guys... Yep, looks like you're done. You know, it's time to make a couple of big potatoes real quick. Uh, water. There's water right over there. Okay, this is, this is a risk we're going to take. Um, I didn't have water in here, right? No, we don't have water in there. Alright, let's do this. I know where there is water. I don't have anything to put it in. I don't have a pot to make it safe to drink, but it's water. And maybe if I just take a couple of sips, we'll be okay. This is not a POI, right? Alright, here we go. Come on, let, let me know. Please, please. Oh! Okay, <laughs> go this way. Oh, please let me know I can drink this. Oh no. <laughs> oh, please. Okay, I... I think, I think... Where was that pond? There was... There's a pond right there. Okay, uh, we gotta go. I gotta try to get some water before I have to lock myself indoors for the rest of the evening. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we got a few zombies coming. We got a few. We are fine. Just back off. Watch your stamina. Watch that stamina. You're good. There we go. We got this. We got this. We got it. We got it. Ow. 
Oh. Oh, okay. One more. Are we out of there? Okay, we're out of there. Tw oh my god, it's 2100. Where's, where's our base? Okay, hurry up, Steve. 2100. Oh my god, I didn't know it was getting that light. Okay, we're good. We're good. We don't, ha oh, we don't have a lot of bullets. That's fine. Alright, so... Now, for the evening, Steve, don't eat unless you need to eat. Uh, everything else here is fine. Electronic traps, tech planet, knife guy. I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, bows and arrows. Can we... You want to make some more arrows? Like, that's going to help. Okay, maybe we don't need that many. Maybe I can just shoot for 50 for right now. And that would do it. I think we're going to be okay. I just need to put down a couple blocks here. So I don't have to keep jumping over this thing. And end up falling on my face. Yeah, it's almost 2200. We're okay. I'm a little bit nervous. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna put that in my bag and got a light there. So I think the best thing for us to do is just the crouch. Oh, look at that. Look at that stamp. Look at it. We are at 5% detected 4% detected okay I think I think we're gonna be okay tonight crossing my fingers so anyway I think that'll be it for this video starting to see some zombies coming out there spawning into the game hey you get out of my yard this is my yard I think I think this is the street behind my yard isn't that yeah, get out of here, buddy. Get out of your bow. It's not... No! So anyway, see you guys in the next video, okay? Later, dudes.